dividend by the divisor. We can fit two groups of nine into twenty-four. Multiply the nine by two to get eighteen in the mix. Write the eighteen and subtract. The difference is six. Then bring down the three, and the process will repeat. When we do long division, we drop the B. Write it above the line. Multiply nine by seven, we get sixty-three. Then subtract the sixty-three to get zero. You see, we bring down the two, which nine does not go into. So write a zero on the line, followed by remainder two. By what's left over? That's how a potion is found. Rem Share the apples equally between the children. There are seven apples. The children have an equal number of apples. They each have three apples. There is one apple left. Seven divided by two is equal to three with one remainder. We can write this division equation. The result is called the quotient. The part left over is called the remainder. We read the equation as 7 divide 2 equals 3 remainder 1. Share the chocolates equally among the plates. There are 11 chocolates. Let's share them. There are three chocolates on each plate. There are two chocolates remaining. We can write this equation. 11 divide 3 equals 3 remainder 2. Divide the dots equally into four groups. What is the remainder? There are 30 dots. We can place them equally into four groups, with seven dots in each group. There are two dots remaining. 30 divide 4 equals 7 remainder 2. While finding the quotient for 97 divided by 2. Step 1 is to compare the digits. We compare the leftmost digit of the dividend with the divisor. Here, the leftmost digit is the digit in the tens place, that is 9. 9 is greater than 2. And therefore, we can divide 9 by 2. So, step 2 is doing the division. Here, as the divisor is 2, we use the table of 2's to find a product which is equal to or less than and nearest to the digit of the dividend, that is 9. So, the nearest product is 8. 
Hence, we write 4 above 9. Step 3 is to multiply 4 by 2. As we know, 4 into 2 is equal to 8. We write the number 8 in the tens column under 9. Step 4 is to subtract 8 from 9, which is equal to 1. We write this 1 in the tens column. Now, step 5 is to bring down the next digit, that is 7. After bringing down the digit, we repeat steps 1 to 5 again till there are no more digits to bring down. So, here we again compare 17 and 2. Here, 17 is greater than 2. So, we can divide 17 by 2. Here, we use the table of 2's such that the product is less than or equal to and nearest to 17. The nearest product is 16. So, we write 8 above the 7. As we know, 8 into 2 is equal to 16. Write the number 16 under 17. Next, subtract 16 from 17, which is equal to 1. Write 1 in the 1's column. Now, there are no more digits to bring down. We have finished our division. The remainder here is 1. Did you know, kids? We can also check our calculation. All we have to do is use the following relation. Dividend is equal to quotient into divisor plus remainder. That is 48 into 2 plus 1, which is equal to 96 plus 1 is equal to 97. Isn't that interesting? Now that we're in division, we're going to talk about dividing with remainders. Now, to use this process, we have to look at the equation we have here. Now, the first equation we have is 22 divided by 7. Now, 22, this number right here, is our dividend. That means that's the number we're looking to break up. Now, when we go to the next place over, this is our divisor. The divisor tells us how many ways we want to break that dividend up. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to start to solve this equation. I'm going to look at 7 and 22. I need to know my math facts to see whether or not this works. So, using a multiplication table, you can see how many times 7 goes into 22. It won't be perfect or else we wouldn't have a remainder. So, as we go through and start to solve, we're going to go through the ideas of what well, we know 7 one time is 7. 7 two times is 14. 7 three times is 21. And 7 four times is 28. Well, right there we know this guy's not going to count because he's too big. So, that means we'll take him away. With our 21, we know that that number actually does fall underneath this one. 21 is one less than 22. 
So if you ask me, 21 or 7 three times would probably be my answer so far. I'm going to put that 3 right above the 1's place. I'm going to bring that 21 down and subtract. We know that 2 minus 1 would be 1. We know that 2 minus 2 is a pretty easy one. That's going to give us 0. So now we have this number right here, this 1, sitting all alone. We can't have 7 go into 1 really anymore. 7 is too big to do that. So we're going to carry this 1 up, and we're going to count that 1 as our remainder. Notice that I wrote an R before the 1. That R stands for remainder. And then, after I put the R, this 1 takes its place. So our total answer right now comes down to 3, remainder 1, for the equation of 22 divided by 7. Vision by 10, 101,000 with remainder. When dividing by 10, the remainder is the digit in the ones place. When dividing by 100, the remainder is formed by the digits in the tens and ones places. When dividing by 1,000, the remainder is formed by the digits in the hundreds, tens and ones places. So in dividing 10 with remainder, the last digit is the remainder. For example, 452 divided by 10. So ang last digit natin ay 2, and that will be our remainder. And the remaining digit, the 45, yun ang ating quotient. So, the answer is 45 with remainder 2. So, 452 divided by 10 equals 45 with remainder 2. Another, 9,786 divided by 10. So, ang last digit natin ay 6. And the remaining digit is 908. So, that is our quotient. So, 9,786 divided by 10 equals... 978, remainder 6. Another, 1,397, divided by 10. So, ang last digit natin ay 7, yun ang ating remainder, and the remaining digit ng 139 ang ating quotient. So, 1,397, divided by 10, equals 139, remainder 7. We have dividing by 100, remainder. So, in dividing 100 with 